Hey, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking, in the figure two solenoids are side by side, the switch is initially open, is closed, the induced current through the resistor R is what? So they are asking which way the current is going to flow. Now to find the turnout, what we can do, so when this one is closed, what's going to happen is, this current will flow through, through this direction, right? So when this current flows through this direction, you can understand this by right hand rule, the magnetic flux will go in this direction. So to understand this one using right hand rule, you can use your fingers, uh, like right hand fingers, if you fold it toward current's direction, and that will show magnetic fields direction, right? So magnetic flux will be in this direction. Now, as the current keep increasing, what's going to happen is this uh, the bottom circuit will try to oppose this one. So for this one, the cur uh, magnetic flux will be in the opposite direction, right? So it's going to go like this. So if this is opposite direction, here we have currents flowing in the counterclockwise. So for this one, the current is going to flow in the clockwise, right? So clockwise, you can see as it moving clockwise, this should definitely go through B to A. So it will pass through this one, B to A. So here the answer is going to be B to A, right? Now let's look at this problem right here. An electromagnetic wave propagates along the Y direction, plus Y direction, as shown in the figure. If the electric field at the origin is along plus C direction, what is the direction of the magnetic field? So here they are asking for the magnetic field. So whenever we have electromagnetic waves direction kind of problems, we can use point vector equation. Point vector that is equivalent to E cross B. So here they have given point vector's direction, that is electromagnetic waves direction, that is plus Y. So we use IJK notation. So here we choose J for plus Y, right? So J is going to be plus Y and also they have given electric field's direction that is plus C. So that's going to be K, right? So now we have to ask if I cross K with which value, which uh, notation that will give us plus J. And to find the one out, we can use the cross multiplication rule that is if you cross so if you cross k with i that's the only one that's going to give you plus j right if you cross i with k or any other nothing will give you plus j so if you cross k with i that's the only one that's going to give you plus j so from this one we know that magnetic field direction is going to be i so that means uh, plus x direction so the answer is going to be this one, B. And that's how we do these kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.